Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Please let us pray. Our everlasting Father, we thank you. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. We worship you for who you are. We thank you for your mercy, for your love. We thank you for preserving our spirit and soul and body to witness another day in the land of the living. Please, Lord, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, bless every one of us and prepare our life to receive your blessing. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Today, I decree a statement into your life. Because God is a living God, and you are still living, therefore, the living God will change your story to testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By the mercy of God, the topic before us today is when God asks a question. When God asks a question. Beloved, in life, there's going to be a time when you are going to meet someone or someone is going to meet you. And that may be the beginning of a process that will lead to a miracle. It happens throughout the Bible. We want to examine it and see how God will use it to bless our life today. Praise the Lord. When God asks a question, for example, in Genesis chapter 18, Genesis chapter 18, the Bible says Abraham was in his tent and suddenly he received divine visitors. And after Abraham tried to please them, then they asked a question in verse 9. Where is thy wife? And Abraham said, Behold, is in the tent. And discussion started. And that discussion led to a special miracle. And that is why I am praying for someone listening to me outside there. Just like any other day, you will receive a visitation that will turn to a special miracle in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Another example is in 1 Samuel chapter 16. 1 Samuel chapter 16. David was in the bush taking care of the sheep. And Samuel had come to David's father's house, Jesus' compound. But with divine intervention, Samuel asked Mr. Jesse, a question in verse 11. Are these all the children? Jesse answered. He said, no. Remain one, but is in the bush, taking care of the sheep. And Samuel ordered that they should send for him. And that discussion led to a special miracle in the life of David. That is why I decree upon you. Like any other day, you will be doing your work busy and suddenly God will send for you and God will give you a miracle that you desire in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 37, precisely verse three, in that 37, the Bible says, God took Ezekiel to the valley of dry bones. 
And he has a question there. Son of man, can this bone be? And Ezekiel answered the Lord. He said, Thou knowest, Lord. And the same discussion led to special miracle. Again, in Mark chapter 10, Mark chapter 10, between verse 46 to the end, the Bible says, Bartimaeus was by the roadside doing his legitimate business, asking for arm because he was blind, he was a beggar. But when he heard that Jesus was passing by, he cried out unto the Lord for mercy. In the book of Mark chapter 10, but when we get to verse 1, the Bible says, and God said, what should I do unto thee? That was the question that God, the Lord, asked blind Bartimaeus. What should I do for you? And then he said, that I may receive my sight. And he received his miracle. I speak with the word of authority. God Almighty will visit you. Everlasting Father, we ask a question. Holy Spirit, we answer the question for you. And you will receive your miracle that day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number five is in John chapter 2. There was a wedding in Canaan of Galilee. And suddenly there was no wine. And the mother of the Lord went to her, went to the Lord. He said, she said, they lack wine. And the Lord asked a question in verse 4. He said, what will I do for you, woman? My time has not come. That question, my time has not come. Yet, before the end of that day, the Lord performed a missing miracle. In this season, whether season of celebration, whether season of pandemic, in this season, God will give you miracle that will change your story forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Likewise, number six question, you will see it in John chapter 5. You know the story of a man by the pool of Bethsaida. He had been there for years. The Bible said 38 years. And you, you know, of course, that the whole year that Jesus spent on earth was 33 and a half. So the man had been there before Jesus was born. But when Jesus got there, the Bible said, since he knew that that man had been there for a long time, and he asked a question in that John chapter 5, he asked a question in verse 6. The Lord said, do you want to be made whole? Yes, the man said, I don't have helper. The issue is this, that man was there looking for someone to help. That was why he said, I don't have helper. And that question and answer led to his miracle. Number seven. In John chapter 11, John chapter 11 talked about Lazarus. Lazarus had died and Jesus arrived. And while they were debating, discussing, Precisely in verse 34, the Lord said, Where do you lead him? That was the question. And the answer is, Come and see. And at the end of the day, beloved, that question led to miracle. Listen to me. When God wants to change a failure to success, he always asks a question. When the Lord wants to change someone that has been forsaken to testimony, he always asks 
a question. When God is ready to intervene in someone's matter, he has a question. Several times, you will feel within you a question. Not because you are sorrowful, not because you are sad. You may not even think towards that. But that question may be contrary to what you are doing at that moment. The question like, when will my testimony come? The question like, will this be the way I'm going to continue with my life? The question like, when will people gather and celebrate with me? And so on and so forth. Listen, brothers and sisters. Any time you suddenly feel a question coming out within you, Know this for sure. Because when God faces, you may not recognize him. You may not feel his presence. But when he drops a question, it is a sign that your miracle is about to happen. But so many times, when we receive such miracle, some will just sign down. Hmm. Or some will say, one day it shall be well. Or some will thank God for the period's testimony and so on and so forth. But listen to me. What you have to do is to answer the Lord the question. Is to rise up and begin to claim, knowing surely that that question comes for a purpose. Don't keep quiet. Don't break down. Don't weep. That is not what the question meant for. It is for you to rise. It is for you to pray. Lord, do not allow this year to go without me receiving my miracle. Based on the question that the Lord asked you, when he visits you, you didn't see him, but he dropped a question. Based on that question, arise. Give him glory. Then pray. Claim that miracle. And that shall be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. God always ask a miracle before he perform. I mean, ask a question before he perform miracles. It is your turn to testify. It is your turn to experience miracles. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, before the end of this year, you will testify. Listen to me. Don't break down. The Lord is by your side. He's your God. He's your maker. Always reference Him. Recognize Him. Commit everything, every steps you want to take into His hand. He will ask you a question. Then when you answer, when you pray, miracle will follow. In the name of Jesus Christ. But if you are out there and you are listening to me, but you don't know the Lord, well, the mercy of God will speak for you. But you need to come unto Him. You need to surrender unto Him. There is no one the Lord has a question in the Bible that does not worship Him, that does not recognize Him before they receive their miracle. It is your time. So therefore, give your life to Him. And if you are ready, by the Spirit of God, I'm going to lead you. You just say after me, Lord Jesus, I heard your word, and I believe in you. Forgive me of my sin. Welcome into your kingdom. Amen. Let me pray for you. Everlasting Father, I commit this your children unto thee. Lord, please welcome them to your kingdom. Accept them. Wash them clean. Forgive them. And write their name in the book of life. Thank you because I need your answer. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. God bless you. See you next time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.